Hello everybody, welcome to the official replay cast of the round of 32 match between Truk and his undead up against Andy Devo and his necromantic. I can tell you that Truk won his group, it was my group, so this could have been me versus Devo in the round of 32, which would have been pretty insane if you ask me. Um, Truk won that group, he's from Chile and he qualified through the Rebel Qualifier and he's up against Andy Devo who surely everybody knows is also from the UK and qualified through the NAF BB3 summer qualifier. He probably qualified about five other ways as well because he entered about 10 leagues. He was very serious about taking part in this and uh, he did he did get in but through the NAF tournament. Um, with Necromantic here he's got, that's his favorite race on tabletop. Very experienced with it, very good. It's one of those people where like, not only are they good, they've got a specialized race, right? So very, very tough. Very tough to beat um, Devo on Necro, but they are a bit dicey, right? They're just a bash team, and uh, you know, Truk's got a bash team. It, the mummies remove things, things can go well for him. He's more than capable of winning, is Truk. Um, he's got brutal cheerleaders, Devo's got Necromantic. No sideline stuff from Devo, no, uh, no special coach, um, no special coach. <laughs> For Truk, but he's got the undead stuff. But yeah, a bit disappointing on the uh, cosmetics there. What De what Devo does have is these lovely zombie, um, funny hats, the sides on the wraiths. Every you know, all of his positionals are all done, which is quite nice. We've got this lovely mummy. Only one of the mummies looks great. The ghoul, this ghoul looks great. So yeah, you know, we've got some good customizations. We've got completely standard four guard, three block for Devo, two wolf. I like the double wolf. Um, I know Diamed and Bright have gone double ghoul, but I prefer double wolf. And Truk has got a slightly unusual build. He's got 14 players instead of 13. And to do that, he's dropped a ghoul. I think four ghouls is definitely better, but what can you do? And rather than, he's got three guards, which I quite like actually. And then, but rather than skilling the ghoul that he hasn't taken, or the one that he has taken, he's taken dirty player. So it's a bit more high rolly, you know, which isn't wrong, right? It, you know, and maybe it suits him better. But um, yeah, it's odd to let a mummy get clawed. Yeah, I don't like getting, like getting mummies get clawed. Um, yeah, that's, it is a bit of a problem. Probably have to do just like a big line to not get things clawed instantly. Oh, a timeout. So yeah, Devo's obviously going to go in and claw this mummy easily, right? He gets to put the fleshy in behind. Not instant cars, <laughs> Devo dies. Um, it's a tabletop thing, so maybe you're done. Maybe, maybe that's yeah. See, this is the problem with this setup. It's just instant uh, claw into stand firm. Yeah, it's it's not good. You shouldn't let people get easy claws into stand firms on your mummies, because that's how you just lose a mummy instantly. And maybe lose. Right? If, you, if you lose a mummy instantly, chances are you lose. Right. So. There's just a, a big chance here just to instantly win the drive. On a, on a KO, you basically win the drive, right? Like that, that's, that's how serious it is. On, if you, if Dave or KOs that mummy, he just won the drive. He's definitely scored. And uh, if he casses it, he's maybe won the game. <laughs> is, you know, not, obviously not exactly because things can happen. And it's, it's not over, but he's looking insanely strong if that happens. Oh wow, he can just base the ball with a mummy? Oh man. So this is interesting, right? As much as I hate blitzing wraiths, what I hate even more than blitzing wraiths is when people cage directly behind the LOS for no reason. Right? This guy could be one back. If this guy's one back and you blitz the wraith and you you know you hit him with block or you double you just push him, he goes back here your ball is unmolested. This can be a mummy blitz straight onto the ball, strength five. These guards are out of the way. This guard can get tagged off. And Devo's in trouble instantly. So that's really weird play by Devo to allow that. Like I just, you know, and he might not go for it. He might not go for it, but I just hate allowing it. And you, all, you often see people allowing it. But he doesn't go for it. I think he probably should have done, but it does suck blitzing a foul appearance. But on the other hand, right, you get Mighty Blown Armor 8, which is incredible, right? Rerolling, he just greed rerolled the push. That's pretty outrageous. I 
skeleton foul, uses the extra movement with his skeleton to get the foul in. And, uh, yeah, that push only got him an extra assist. That was a wild reroll from Truck. Oh, instant one in nine from Devo. So you must want to use the guard somewhere else. Uh, that's the... <laughs> that's your opposition there, Devo. <laughs> he's rushing, oh dear. Oh, he's trying to hit both mummies. With claw. No, he only hits one with claw. Wasn't it? Okay, so... This is a bit... He's not hitting both mummies with claw, right? Isn't it better just to block with the guard there? And then come out here and then claw this one. And then, like, just punch this dude. I guess he couldn't punch anything because there were two guards. So he had, to, he had to do that to get this. But he could have blitzed this one and then he could have put guard in here. And then he could have punched these normally. Eh. I think you're going to move the ball over here. I like, I like clawing this mummy, definitely. I like blocking with block wherever possible. But, um... Wow, re rolls the push. So, if he pushed it to there, he's just going to punch his wolf, isn't he? And he could have tried to just dodge away, but I guess because he's used to. I don't know what he used to re roll on the ball, though, on the push. I guess, he, I guess he has to knock it down to get everything else moving over and protecting this. Wait, that's not his! I, I thought all three were Davos. <laughs> I thought all three of these were Davos. He hasn't even punched the mummy. I hasn't even punched the mummy. If the mummy block, if the mummy knocks this guy down, he can go one, two, three, four, rush. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, rush, and then two dice the ball. No, no. I, so actually, let's go red and blue because I couldn't tell that apart. Let's red and blue this. Um, it's undead versus Necro, and this, so they both got zombies. But so that zombie, I just thought, even though Davos have got the hat, I still thought that Davos was. I thought this zombie was. So that's why he didn't claw this mummy, right? I was thinking just claw this mummy because you've got three players there, but he didn't. So I was going to block with a wraith and move the zombie to here and and frenzy him, but he couldn't because that guy was a. That guy was, was, wasn't his, so that explains everything about that turn and why he was doing that to free these up. So that, that turn is completely explained by knowing which players are which. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to have to go red and blue. As, as much as like they look quite different, right, with the green and the, and the purple, like they look pretty cool. But I thought that guy is just too hard. It was just too hard in the end, so red and blue helps a bit. But this is a uh, pretty easy. Uh, well, if he gets the pow here, right? You've got to, you've got to do this block first and foremost, and see if you get the pow. Now well, he didn't block the wraith and didn't get the pow and followed, so he can't hit the wraith. The, uh... Okay. Okay. <laughs> well. Uh, regen fail, dead flesh golem. That's pretty good, isn't it? I mean, I, I, he could have done that and blitz the ball on two dice, but uh, he actually wouldn't have, right? Because he rolled a push on the wraith. But I think he should have gone for the two dice on the ball, just because hitting the ghoul are good anyway, right? He's only got one ghoul. Oh, he got the guard in to hit that guy. I mean, dodge this fellow. Hmm. He would have had to rush as well. Not a fan of that. Who's left in time? Well, I mean, I wouldn't have had to blitz the ball. <laughs> had a blitz of the ball. That's what I would have done. That was spicy from Dave all putting that guy right up there. That was very spicy. Okay. Now that this guy's been removed. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we can go back to red and green. It's funny, right? Because purple and green is really nothing alike. But I did confuse that player. So yeah, okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it on red and blue. Oh, sir. Oh dear. Oh well. I mean, 
I guess it's a fair trade because he made a foul. He made a cat off the foul, but yeah. Yeah, I feel like, you know, knocking the ball over was better than getting the guy served. But he did make a he did make a cat off the foul. And losing a fleshy is huge. That does make it harder for the wolves to hit the mummies. Now he's blitzing the wraith. It's already a bit of a disaster for Truk. <laughs> I wonder if Dave old surf this guy, right? That's a, that's a Dave old thing to do, isn't it? <laughs> I don't think he should, but he could, right? He could surf this guy. He shouldn't. He should just. He should just be sensible. Oh my god, again the ball gets based, but this time he stuns him. I like he's a blodger, right? What one dicing he wouldn't have been any good there anyway. Yeah, th this is the correct thing to do, finishing this way. Uh, this is Davos drive, yeah, 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 yeah. He's not that good, Pogler. <laughs> yeah, he kind of uh, that that foul that got the got the stun the dead fleshy was really good foul, but it has kind of he's kind of abandoned the defence, hasn't he? Just to try and hit Wraiths. I guess it increases his chance of a draw, right? If he can get some bangs in for the second half, try and get the draw. Like it's hard. It's hard for Trick to win this. It is very hard for him to win. I think, you know, Devo has the team advantage and the coaching advantage and the matchup advantage. Like I just think Devo holds all the cards. So trying really hard to bang and get a man advantage for the second half to get the draw and then you know maybe you know who knows who knows but yeah it's tough tough for truck especially being dead for game two that would be incredible wouldn't it it'd be incredible for truck it'd be terrible for the tournament but it would be incredible for truck right now wait did he push him back no yeah no he pushed him back could he not have served? Hello, Salakas. Hello, Pedro. Plenty of guard in for Devo. But, you know, ultimately, Truk also has guard in his mummies, so. Bosh. Wait a minute, I've just realised. You can just surf him. 30%. He's <laughs> got two re-rolls. 30% in, and then what's the uphill for a push with a re-roll? Um, 70. So he's 70 of 30. So he's 21% to win the game right now. Um, yes, let's do that. <laughs> Instant. Yes, that was the timing. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, oh my god, he rolled a six! <laughs> but he was just dodging this guy somewhere. It didn't matter. Oh no. Oh no. He had to go for the uphill surf there. 
like his defense is completely done, right? There's not there's no way he's doing anything else on defense. Yeah, you might have had your ghoul die, but and the breaks in it. No, people like to cut corners sometimes, don't they? I don't know where he was going. Um, ultimately, I guess it doesn't matter where he was going, but... He was here, one, two, three... He was here, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, rush, rush. Maybe he's going to try and go there. That was where the cage was, right? So, yeah. I'm not a fan of the plan. I think just going to... So oh, wait. Maybe he was going for the plan. Wait, wait a minute. Maybe, oh, yeah. Maybe he's going for the 1D surf. So maybe he was going to do all of that to do the 1D surf, right? Yeah. He was going to tag the cage for the 1D surf. Oh, okay. Okay. So he was, he, was going for the, he was going for the ball surf, but was trying to make it a 1D. I think I prefer the uphill as well. Because the hard part is getting in. And then I'd rather have a ghoul to react anyway, right? What, what if he gets the surf and the ball comes out on this line, right? The ball could go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, right? And then bounce to here. And if you haven't activated this ghoul, he can just three plus out and pick it up and score, you know? <laughs> so, yeah, but yeah, okay. Thank you, Selena. This is the thing, right? This is the thing. It's hard to, this is why it's really hard to say, you know, I'd, not what I would, all you can really say is not what I would have done because you don't know what they're thinking and yeah that, that was the thinking that was why he was going he was going for the double corner cut or triple corner cut to um, to get there and then make it a 1D um, so yeah I'd, I'd rather have something to react like the, if, if it was if, it, if he didn't have to dodge in right if the dodge in was a 2 plus then probably, yeah, do all those dodges and rushes to, to make sure that you've got the, uh, it's a 1D. But the hard part of the equation is, uh, is getting the dodge in in the first place, right? 30% to get the dodge in. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, surfing, surfing sideline cages is, I mean, that's the danger, right? You, you need to do, to do it safely, you need three players. So you've got a player there, player there, player there, and the ball there, and then they can't easily surf you. But doing just a three-man sideline cage is very risky always. Okay, so and amongst that, a wraith got KO'd and stayed out. So that's okay for troop. Vicious ref is nothing. Oh well, I say it's nothing. He's got two reserves, so he can blitz the. If he block, if he pals here, here, he can foul the wolf, can't he? Can he get a three assist foul? No, he can only get a two assist foul. But with dirty player, nicely done. Oh no, follow! No follow! You can't follow that. You can't follow that, Truk. Okay, so here we go for the for the benefit of people at home. Um, you push him to there, right, and then you go up to assist the foul, and then this guy comes in for the assist, which you do after the foul, <laughs> probably. <laughs> And then this guy comes in, so you've got a two assist foul instead of a one assist foul. Is now he going to rush? Or is he just in range anyway? He had to double rush instead. So, I mean, that's just obviously terrible, right? That's an absolute mistake. And uh, But, you know, he made the rushes to make up for it. Injured! Oh, my God. Okay, well. The rushes. Did he need the plus two? No, he rolled double six. <laughs> But Dirty Player got the Kaz. Um, and sent off. But yeah, from the officious ref, wasn't it? Obviously, David wasn't going to let it walk. I mean, he could have just backlined. Honestly, this was, a, this was an anti-one-turn defense versus ghouls. And he had zombies. So was it an anti-timeout defense? I guess it was an anti-timeout defense, wasn't it? 
It was an anti-timeout defense. But yeah, I mean, he could have blitzed the wolf anyway, right? He could have just powed, powed, and then hit the wolf on a blitz. Like a mummy, he could have mummy blitzed the wolf anyway. So yeah, it was a bad defense. This this flesh needed to be one in to screen the wolf. And this guy, he didn't even need that. The, they think the officious ref didn't even matter actually. Right. So, <laughs> second half. Here we go. Oh my god, the, the race stays KO'd. So three key players out for Davo. That's pretty significant. Three, seven, nine players total. He'd have ten if he'd gone the Diamed build. <laughs> but because he hasn't gone the Diamed build, he's still got a wolf, right? Diamed's only got the one wolf, so... Six and two, three, isn't he? That, you know, he's got the um, redundancy of two wolves in case one gets hurt. But yeah, only nine players here is very rough. Not enough to go for the win, or to consider going for the win. Maybe if you make like three cars in the LOS. <laughs> but uh, this is the problem, really, for truck is how to win right because this still isn't enough to go for the win he had to have done this and stopped the score basically um but i mean this should be a very easy drive for him now. Yeah, he can't follow, can he? Because it leaves too much of a gaping hole. I don't like that he's done a blitz and left somebody tagged. Never mind. Could let that go, but on the other hand, you don't want to like keep failing to pick it up, right? In the rain, and then like end up like you know, Devo is kind of offset, right? His players are here, could pile in. At least getting it in hand, there's, there's a lot of value to be had, so like, you don't want to be a one in four away from disaster next turn, so don't hate the pickup there at all. And the re-roll. Yeah, this is real tough now with nine players in a bash mirror. Who the fuck is this guy? Sorry, there's somebody outside, I don't know if you can hear me. Making all the noise in the world. I don't know if it's because they're stuck in the snow because they think they're cool, one of the two. Probably stuck in the snow, to be fair. And there's somebody outside. Um, I mean, obviously outside, but not next door, just somebody in the street. Okay, so, God, I can't, I, right, I need to turn off the rings. <laughs> I really can't see who's who. <laughs> oh, dear. Right. The problem is, as well, now, without the rings, it's hard to tell which are the ghouls. <laughs> I feel like the ghouls should have a different colour to the skeletons and zombies, right? What I don't like about this team, let's just zoom in and show you, right? This ghoul is the same colour as this zombie. Which is the same colour as this wraith. Like they're all the same kind of bone colour, right? If the uh if zombies weren't bone coloured, and then if ghouls weren't also bone coloured, you could have like three different colours here, and instead it's a team kit. No Seleno. The skin colour. The skin colour. <laughs> and it's all the same. And if you look at the Games Workshop ones, they've got uh they've got like pink coloured ghouls, right, and stuff, and uh like kind of purpley coloured ghouls or whatever, and they've got like green kind of zombies. They could have done something to differentiate them a little bit more rather than have them all bone coloured. Uh, yeah, something, anything to make him worry. Yeah, he hasn't helped it by putting the bone bits on. He has put the he has put the bone customizations on, but even without them, just the the skin tone is like basically exactly the same between um, between the undead. 
which makes it difficult. It definitely makes it difficult. I'd definitely like to see um, <laughs> customizations of, of like Google skin would be nice. <laughs> or I mean, just just patch it differently. Don't have to charge us to be able to tell them apart. Nope. Um, no, I don't think so, Vale, because it's like the same can be said from the other way, right? Like, Devo tries to make his distinct with the hats to help himself, and that's the thing. So while you can try to make it more confusing for your opponent, you can end up making it more more confusing for yourself. Like, I'm sure Devo's trying to make it more distinct for himself, right? <laughs> to help himself. <laughs> it's, it's hard enough for yourself. Okay, Ghoul Wrestle Blitz. The only block blitz was the ball, but I mean he could have ball blitzed. This is like this is when you can ball blitz, right? Is uh Or he could have just blitzed with a white. But he could have ball blitzed there, it's fine. It's only one in twelve nine six that is a disaster. He's used a reroll somewhere as well that I missed. So he's in a bit of a pickle here, Truk. He's got himself into a pickle versus nine players. Um Devo hasn't done much to be honest. Uh, you know, hasn't done like, you know, world-class plays to stand in front. Um, he's just stood in front and somehow tricks down to one reroll um, on turn 12 with limited penetration. That stun is big. Yeah, full model paint would be amazing, yeah. That stun's great though, you can leave the fleshy behind you. And that's even better because now the the uh white can free the mummy, maybe. I guess the mummy can't go free far, maybe it's better for the mummy just to punch. Yep, the arrow gets back in front. Bases the ball with sidestep and foul appearance. Yeah, this isn't great from Truck, I've got to say. Oh, the third dice does it. Gets the removal. That's, that helps a lot now, right? The, the blood stepper, but well not blood stepper, the block stepper is gone. So, um, he's got to be happy about that. He's still got time. He's still, uh, he's still very far ahead here, isn't he? Yeah, this is fine, actually, having these two fighting these, like, three. I would have actually hit this one, right, so that you keep him in contact with the mummy. Um, but also, th I think this is a lot better, actually. He could have blocked here and then followed, right? And then he's got two guards supporting each other. Not easy to hit anybody. And then those two are taking up five of Devo's. So that dub skull is actually brutal because now Devo can, you know, blitz with a fleshy and, and get all of these four relevant again. So if he hadn't, I don't know what his second reroll was on, but um, that would have actually been a really good hit and a really good reroll. him with block. Much better than blitzing with a fleshy. And now he gets the fleshy on the cage as well, maybe. And these two guys. Hello, Truk. Um, no offence, don't watch the VOD. <laughs> it hasn't been offensive. I'm, I'm not offensive. The don't watch the VOD is a good old meme, isn't it? But um, it's been, uh, I don't know, maybe I've been too analytical this video, I don't know, I don't know, but um, it's been interesting, certainly, I feel like, you know, like obviously Devo's really good, um, but like he hasn't really done anything on defense, right, he's just stood in the way and uh, made this a little bit difficult, um, oh my goodness, all completely exposed, oh my goodness. Oh dear. 
Um, yeah, I feel like things could have been better. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like you could have done things better this half. Uh, you know, I'm down two players to start with and lacking big quality to start with. I feel like this should have been a lot easier than what it was. I mean, it's not even over now. Now it's no, no rerolls and Dalo's got three. So... Yeah, I'd have just gone for the uphill surf truck. I'm not sure. Because the, the six plus is the hard part, right? So I'm not sure whether it's better to try to make it a 1D or not. Might be, might be. So, but you, you get recovery if, if you don't go for it, right? That's the thing. Oh, there was no rushes. I thought there were rushes. Failed the second one, didn't you? I thought you failed the second one. Yeah, this is a bit of a pickle. A bit of a pickle. It, wait, wait a minute, right? This is turn 15. Okay, Davos failed. This was like a 3 plus to get a 2D on the ball. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> yeah, this was, this was not great. But got away with it. Um, could, have, could have tried to serve the wolf first, right? Um... I don't know if it could have been a 3D. If it was a 3D to surf the wolf, it might have been worth it to stop the like you know the riot chance. I don't think there's a real chance of the one turn from Davo. But if you could have 3D the wolf, maybe it's worth surfing the wolf there. Wow, that was that was crazy. So close. So close to not getting the draw there. I don't think this works at all. Anyway. <laughs> like, it's just so many dice, right? Um. <laughs> yes, but I mean, the riot though, isn't it? The surfing the wolf, it fails. If you can three dice it, it's one in 216. So it's probably not worth it, actually. Nah. A 1 in 216 is probably not worth it. Um, but there you go, a draw. Um, and yeah, I mean, I guess congrats to both. Maybe I was a bit overly nitpicky there. I do apologise if anybody felt that I was too nitpicky. I don't know, I've just woken up ready to analyse things. So uh, there you go. Right, thanks for watching everybody. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.